everyone, my name is Alexa Ortega and today we're gonna to be doing a full body Tabata. What does that mean? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We're gonna repeat every move twice for mastery. I'm using a set of dumbbells that are challenging, so use a set of dumbbells that are challenging for you. Let's go ahead and warm up. Stand up nice and tall. Drive that knee up and out to the side. So you wanna open up your hip flexors. If you've been sitting down all day, if you have an office job, or you're not really moving a lot, you definitely wanna take your time to do this move to warm up those hip flexors. Let's go for four more. Start connecting with your breath, okay? Last two. Up next, go ahead and take a good stance. Chest is up, you're gonna tap your feet. This is gonna stretch out the back of the legs, the hamstrings. I'm ready, feeling that stretch. Try and keep your legs straight as you tap your feet and keep your chest up nice and tall. We wanna make sure our muscles are warmed up because we're gonna be working our entire body today. All right, give me four more. Next, stand up tall, small circles forward nice and fast. Let's wake up those shoulders and then take it into big shoulder rolls. So let the arms go. Now go ahead and go the opposite direction. So small circles back and take it into nice big circles. Next, take it into a squat. So squat it down low. You're gonna open up both ways. <sighs> Stay down nice and low. You're gonna start feeling this in the legs, right? I already feel it. All right, last thing we're gonna do, hands on your hips. Slight bend in the knees, push your hips back. Chest is parallel to the ground. You're stretching the back of your legs again, your hamstrings, so keep going. And give me one more, then we're gonna get started here, okay? All right, so let's grab your dumbbells. You're gonna hold them by your side. We're gonna work for 20 seconds. Here we go, so stand wider than hip width apart. Bring your butt down nice and low. Your butt is parallel to the ground. Stand up nice and tall. <sighs> Enjoy all of the beautiful plants in this magical garden. Four seconds, guys, keep going. And then you get, there you go. So there's a 10 second break. Take a breather. We're gonna do that same move again. 20 seconds is a very short period amount of time. 10 seconds, very short rest, here we go. So what you wanna do is bring your heart rate up. I love Tabatas because it's cardio and weights. All cardio means is that you're working your cardiovascular system. And when you're resting for a very short amount of time, you're definitely working your cardiovascular system. Three seconds, keep going. All right, take a breather. Next, I'm gonna use both dumbbells. You can use one if you want. We're gonna go for dumbbell swings. So you're gonna hinge your hips back and drive the weight up. Go ahead and start. If you have a kettlebell, you're welcome to use your kettlebell, but if you don't, you can totally just use your dumbbells and it's not a squat. So as you can see, I'm driving my hips back and pushing my hips forward. All right, this is gonna get the heart rate up. Take a breather. So you wanna use the power in your legs to drive the weight up. Your arms are not carrying the weight. They're just there as a vessel. Here we go, round two, let's go. Focus on your breath. If your heart's getting nice and high, you're doing it right, that's what we want. I'm starting to warm up. It's nice and cold out here, but with all this movement, it's starting to feel nice and warm, you guys. You having fun? All right, take a break. Next, we're gonna go for single shoulder press, but you're gonna alternate, so. Palms facing in, and you're gonna go one at a time. Here we go. Depending on your weight, you can either go really fast, get in all those reps, or you can take it as slow as you need. All right, my shoulders are already burning. Long arms at the top. When I stop, that means it's a break. So you stop two. Keep going, guys. All right, so like I said, we're gonna go for round two. Palms facing in. And you go at whatever tempo is challenging, but sustainable for you. Ready? Here we go. Round two. Let's go. You want to work a little bit harder than you did the first round. All right, always push yourself a little bit more than you think you can go. Here we go. 
stay with me. Let's pick up the pace a tad bit. If you're carrying really heavy weights, pick it up just a little bit. Next. So you're gonna go ahead and use both dumbbells. We're gonna go ahead and do curls out here. So curl out here, slowly bring it down this way. Get started, curl out here, slowly bring it down this way, all right? Curl, slowly bring it down. We're hitting both heads of the bicep. That's why we curl out here and we hammer curl it down here. Try and keep your neck relaxed. How you guys feeling? You feeling it yet? Next, so when we do curls this time, we're gonna do just hammer curls. Last time it was out here and you're curling it down. This time, we're just gonna curl this way. So get started, really targeting those biceps, one of the heads of the biceps, in this particular exercise. If you wanna pick up the pace, get in more reps for 20 seconds, you're welcome to do that. If not, keep going. We're gonna use our legs next. So, I'm gonna have you get in a staggered stance. This leg back here is gonna get down, get started, and come up. So for 20 seconds, you're sticking to this same leg. All right. Feel the burn in your quads. Weight is in the back leg. Once we break, we'll go for the other leg after that 10 second break. Three, two, take a break. So take a 10 second break. We're gonna go for the other leg next. You want the weight to be in your back leg, okay? Try and get that knee as close to the ground as you can. Here we go, down and up. That's it. And then guess what? We're gonna do each leg twice for mastery. I love split squats. They really challenge all the muscles in your legs. It's such a great exercise to add to any of your routines. Okay. Rest those legs for a bit. We're gonna go back to that right leg that we started with. Get ready. Three, two, one. Here we go, down and up. If you can get your knee to tap the ground, that's excellent. If you can't, do your best. Just get your knee as close to the ground as you can. Okay, my heart rate's definitely up because the rest period is so short. I'm feeling it a lot, which is great. That's what we want. Okay, rest, lactic acid's building up as it should. Last split squat that we're gonna do, get ready. Here we go. And then we'll rest our legs for a little bit and go back to arms. So we're gonna be switching back and forth from lower body to upper body to some full body moves. So just hang out with me, okay? Trust that this is gonna be a good, challenging, fun workout. Definitely dynamic too. Holy cow. All right, so let's go for arms next. We're gonna go for tricep crushers. Arms above your head. You're gonna drive it down this way. Bring it straight up, go ahead and get started. Tuck your elbows in, I'll show you from the front. Elbows in, chin is tucked in also. Bring it all the way down, all the way up. So you wanna feel this in your triceps, tucking those elbows in. Make sure that you isolate those triceps. <sighs> Is your heart rate up? Mine's definitely up. If you're wearing a watch to track your heart rate, see where you're at. It's good to keep track of where you're at. Okay, round two, tuck your chin into your chest. Elbows are tucked in, making sure you hit those triceps really good. Down at the last five seconds. Okay, next, we're gonna go for a squat tap. This is what I mean. You're gonna squat down, you're gonna tap your heel, and then stand back up. Here we go, so you're gonna squat, tap the heel, stand up, same leg. Squat, tap, stand. This is gonna put pressure on the glute that is staying down on the ground. So you have one foot that stays on the ground the whole time. That's the glute where you're gonna feel it, okay? Same leg break we'll go for the other leg next so that glute right here should have felt all of that next we're gonna work on this glute get ready three two one here we go squat tap stand how y'all doing you feeling it in the legs yet and also because you have to balance yourself your core 
is working really, really good right now. Five seconds. Keep going. Three, two, one, break. Next, you're gonna put one dumbbell, place one dumbbell down. This is just for extra weight. It's gonna hang on your leg. Leg's gonna be straight, point your toe, you're just gonna drive it up and bring it down, that's it. Bring it up, bring it down. This dumbbell is just putting extra weight for this leg that you're raising up. All right, keep the toe pointed up. Think of this as like active recovery. It's still work, but it's not working your cardiovascular system as hard as the other moves. We're gonna go for the other leg. So same thing, toe is pointed. All right, lift that leg up nice and high, keep it straight. Here we go, let's go guys. And believe it or not, you're really gonna feel that in your quad. Like it's no joke. If you think this is easy, it ain't easy. Good, keep going. We're gonna do both legs twice. You're also gonna feel a little bit of a pull in your hip flexor. All right, take a break. Every time I stop, that means you get a 10 second break too, unless you wanna keep powering through, but you do need some rest. Recovery is just as important. Round two, here we go. Now lift that leg a little bit higher than you did the first round, okay? It's interesting how it's also really working your hip flexors right here as you put weight on this leg and the other leg is working to bring it nice and high. All right, so we got one more leg lift on this side. If it's too hard to do it with weight, you don't need to put a dumbbell on your leg. You can do it without weight. I just, I wanted to add a little bit of weight. Here we go. Other leg. Breathe through it, guys. You're showing up today. You're putting in that work for you. If you can do this consistently, imagine working out, moving every single day, even every other day, even once a week, but you're doing something, it's way better than doing nothing. Okay, grab those dumbbells. We're gonna take it back into upper body and we're gonna do a combination move. So you're gonna do a regular row, underhand row, wide row. Okay, here we go. Regular row, palms facing up. Underhand row, palms facing the back wall, wide row. We're hitting all parts of our back. Back is the biggest, well, second biggest muscle group. Legs are first. Underhand, take a break. I'm gonna show you what it looks like from the side next. So you're gonna start with your palms facing in first. Get ready. Core is nice and tight, chest is parallel to the ground. Here we go, row, palms facing up. Underhand row, palms facing the back wall. All right, row, palms facing up, and palms facing the back wall. Keep going. <sighs> Breathe. All right, take a break. Up next, we're gonna combine two moves. So you're gonna do a curl out here, and then take it into a high pull. Here we go. Curl out here, high pull, stand up nice and tall. Relax that neck. Now the weather is perfect, the sun is shining. It's a little bit cool, but it's perfect when you're working out, you know? On a cold day like this, it makes you wanna move. That's the benefit. Otherwise, you just wanna stay in and be cozy in the warm, warm sheets. But when you gotta move, get your heart pumpkin, get, get you nice and warm. Here we go, round two, curl, high pull. Let's work on those shoulders and those biceps. One move at a time. You guys doing okay? Hope you're still staying with me. We got five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one, take a breather. Next, I wanna work on your back some more. So, chest is parallel to the ground, slight bend in the arms. You're gonna drive the elbows out to the side, bring it back in, get started. Look down and forward so your neck is neutral with your spine, okay? Fast on the way up, slow on the way down. Keep your core engaged. Let's work on that nice back. Back is one of my favorite things to work out besides legs. All right, round number two, I'm gonna show you from the front. Keep that core tight, meaning it's not just loose. You're flexed the whole time. Get ready, chest is parallel to the ground. You're looking down so that your neck's neutral with your spine. Here we go. Elbows are bent, elbows come out to the side. Fast on the way up, it's the slow controlled part on the way down that makes this move 
challenging. Stay with me. We're gonna go until we hear the bell. It's coming up in three seconds. All right, there it is. Next, more upper body. You're gonna take it in two. Fast, high pull, what does that mean? As soon as one comes down, the other one comes up. Here we go. So, for this exercise, it's a little bit harder than doing it slow because there's constant tension in your shoulders. 10 seconds, elbows are pointed up. Relax that neck, let's go guys, come on, work for it. Stay with me here, three. I'm feeling that on my biceps too, two. Okay, rest. If you wanna do some shoulder rolls, shake it off. Get ready, round two, let's go a little bit faster if we can. Challenge yourselves, and here we go. Challenge yourselves, go a little bit faster. I know your heart rate's high, I'm feeling it too, trust me. But we're almost there. We really wanna make sure we're giving it everything during this workout. Why did you show up today? What is your goal? Get emotionally connected to that. Here we go, three, two, let's go guys. One, take a break. Okay, next we're gonna work on our legs. I'm gonna use weights. You don't have to use weights if you don't want to. But you're gonna go ahead and squat and you're gonna take two steps to the right, two steps to the left. You're staying down the whole time. So you're gonna feel this tension in your legs. If you haven't started, get started. I'm already feeling that tension in my legs. Anything where you're down for a while, you're putting all this pressure on your legs, that lactic acid is gonna build up. Okay, stand, shake it off. Round two, stay nice and low. Make sure the weight is in your heels. You guys feeling that in your legs? Let's go. Round two, here we go. So weight in the heels when you take a step out to the right and a step out to the left. Just do your best. Forget the rest. You wanna work so hard that you're forced to be present, okay? You can think about everything else you need to do after your workout. Show up for you first. Last rep. Okay, stand, shake it off. Next, you're just gonna hold a squat. Literally hold a squat, but I want you to put the dumbbells on your shoulders. Here we go, hold that squat. Hold right here. If it's too hard for you to put the dumbbells on your shoulders, you don't have to do any weight. Time under tension. Definitely feel it in my legs again. Weight in the heels, stay down. Almost there, three, two, one. Take a break, shake it off. Whew. It just makes it a little bit harder when the dumbbells are on your shoulders versus down here, but that holding it down to the side is just as good. Here we go, round two. Make sure that your butt is parallel to the ground. It's like you're sitting down on a chair. Hold right there. Weight in the heels. Focus on your breathing, guys. Take your time. All right. We're gonna go into some upper body, rest the legs again. So, one dumbbell only. What you're gonna do, pivot your hips, punch, get started, punch, punch, all three ways. Now you want to go as fast as you can. Punch that weight out, we're working on the chest triceps, a little bit of the shoulders. And honestly, I just added the movement so that it's dynamic and you guys don't get bored. So follow my speed, take a break. You wanna go nice and fast. The goal for this workout is to get that heart rate high. If it's not high, pick up the pace, lift heavier. Here we go, round two. So punching that weight out. How fast can you go? Don't forget to pivot that. Pivot your hips, guys. Let's go. Breathe. Beautiful day to move your body. Five seconds, guys. How fast can you go? Three, two, one. Take a break. Next, we're gonna go for clean. So, you're gonna bring it down here and drive it up. Ready? Squat it down, use the momentum in your legs to drive it up over your head. All right, so I'm squatting and I'm using the power in my legs to drive the weight up over my head. I love doing cleans, it's a full body move, gets the heart rate up. Anything with the weight above your head gets your heart rate high. Let's go for the other arm. Whew, heart rate is up. You guys still with me? Round two, here we go. Down, drive it up. When you're resting 10 seconds in between all these moves, your heart rate goes up high, 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 10 seconds. 
Let's go. Here we go. Four, three, two, and break. So we're going to go back to that right arm. You're going to go for a second round. Get ready. Three, two, and here we go. Down, drive it up. Come on. Let's go. Stay with me. Let's work our entire bodies. 10 seconds, guys. That's why we're here, right? We want to make sure we're giving our best. Last one. All right, I need that rest, just like you guys. So we're gonna go for one more on this side, and then we're gonna switch moves. Heart rate's nice and high, here we go. Down, drive it up. We're getting close to the end of the workout, so stay with me. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. <sighs> Come on guys, bring it down. Use the power in your legs to drive it up. Come on. <sighs> Let's go, three, two, last one. All right, next, grab your dumbbells. We did shoulder presses with your palms facing in. This time you're gonna do both, palms facing out. So, both arms, long arms at the top. Bring it back down, that's it. That's all you're doing. You know this is challenging because our heart rates are up right now. Five seconds. Whew, I need to catch my breath. Three, two, last one. Okay, we got one more round, and then we are gonna end with one exercise, two rounds, and we're stretching. Here we go, palms facing the wall in front of you. Up, bring it down. Get that full range of motion, okay? That's it, 10 seconds. Come on, you got this. Stay with me, five, four, three, two, one, Take a break. Up next, we're gonna go for overhead squats. So I'm gonna use one dumbbell. You can use zero weight if you want. You're gonna lock the weight out on top of your head. Here you go, squat it down, stand it up. You wanna lock that weight out on top of your head, okay? So butts parallel to the ground and then drive it up. <sighs> Breathe. Tell yourself you can, because you can. We got one more round. You guys ready? You guys ready to finish strong? Come on, here we go. Lock it out. Three, two, one, let's go. <sighs> Make sure that those arms stay right by your ears. Bring your butt down as low as you can. All right, we're almost there, guys. Come on, stay in it. All right, great work guys. So we're gonna cool it down, we're gonna bring the heart rate down. Stay with me, clasp your hands behind your back. First, we're gonna stretch out that chest, so pull down and out. Now I'm gonna ask you to roll your neck out, but you wanna go really slow. Be careful, you don't wanna hurt your neck. And then go for the other side, do tech two neck rolls per side. Next, grab your arm, actively pull across your body. <sighs> Bring the heart rate down. I'm definitely feeling that. My heart's pumping so fast. You wanna keep actively pulling. You're not just holding your arm, you're pulling it. Feeling that stretch the whole time. Switch arms, other arm. Keep pulling it. Now you're gonna go ahead and grab your elbow, pull it down to the side. So you're actively pulling it down. And go ahead and switch. Other side. Clasp your hands out in front of you. Reach up. Stretch that spine out. Now lean down to one side as low as you can. For five, four, three, two, one. Other side. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back up. You're gonna grab your foot. Hold right here. You're actively pulling up. When I say go, we're gonna take it into a standing bow. Get ready and go. Kick your foot out, bringing it down for five, four, three, two, one. Wow, I really felt that stretch, that was great. Other leg, just hold on first. 
Hold right here, you're actively pulling your foot up. Arm is gonna be straight out. Take it into a standing bow for five, four, three, two, one. Last two stretches, go ahead and take it in a lunge. Your knee is down close to the ground, but you're not touching the ground. Lean forward, feel that stretch right here. And go ahead and twist it open. Hold right there. Now lengthen this leg, so nice and long. You're gonna bring it down and feel that stretch in your hamstrings. Keeping both legs straight. Now go ahead and switch legs. I love a good stretch after a good workout. Bring that knee close to the ground. Now, twist it open this way. Opening up the chest, the spine. And lengthen that front leg, toe pointed up. Toe pointed up. And reach down. All right guys, stand. Plant your feet on the ground. Stand up tall, inhale it up. Exhale it down. Last one, inhale it up. And exhale it out. Being proud of the work and energy that you brought to your workout today. Great work, guys. I will see you at the next workout. Bye.